Hello everybody and welcome to Simulated Aircraft Tutorials. My name's Revenge and I'm going to be your instructor today on map reading in DCS World. So DCS World gives us three maps. There's the general map, which I'm on now. It shows man-made infrastructure such as highways, cities, and airports. And it shows you elevation via color coding. We have our topographical map which shows elevation via color coding as well. However, it also shows us um, via contour lines the shape of the geography. And then, of course, we have our satellite map that is very detailed top-down view. Today, we're going to be focusing on the topographical map. This map is most used by both civilian and military aviators and is key for understanding your mission planning. The reason is because it gives you a detailed map of the geography and how things are shaped on your mission. It does this via color coding and contour lines. Starting off with color coding, it can be different if you're on a desert map. However, with Caucasus, you have blue for water, green for vegetation, and typically valleys, brown for ridges and mountainsides, and then of course white for mountaintops. You also have orange for cities and man-made structures and don't forget that rivers fall into the blue category. Now with this in mind let's start looking at some contour lines. So contour lines are used to show you how the geography is shaped. Now, the closer contour lines are together, like these ones here, the steeper the elevation. So this is showing you with contour lines here and contour lines here with circles at the top, that this is a mountainside that comes to a point here with the one side here and the one side there opening into valleys, which are way more space contour lines telling you it's not as steep. Now, this takes time in a, in, of staring at maps and learning what they look like, but following these general rules will help you find what you're looking for. Starting with valleys. Valleys are usually V-shaped. Now, what I mean by that is they have a wider opening and come to a point that has to end somewhere. So, for instance, this valley, connected to another valley, of course, starts very wide here, and it ends in a tip here. That's what I mean by the V-shape. Of course, Caucasus is filled with valleys that are connected via valleys, and most of them connect to the flatlands. But this is what you're looking for. Valleys also typically have water sources, such as rivers and streams. Um, usually, these are how valleys got made over the time and it is important to look for these features as well. Now, of course, for mountaintop and ridges, white really helps us because we can see mountaintops as the highest elevation with no vegetation on them. For instance, this is a very high mountain in Caucasus, and we can tell it is because the contour lines make a circle at the top here. They are connected. This is the point. This is the highest elevation with very close contour lines showing you how steep it is. Now, as we come out, we can see that it turns into some other valleys as well. And this is how you can read this map. There's a valley that connects over here with a couple of ridges, um, splicing it up here and there. And it also connects to this mountaintop. As you can see up here in the north, it is very flat. These contour lines are out very far. And it still shows you terrain features, such as a hill here, but none of this is very high elevated, and all of it is pretty sparse away from each other and not very steep. So just to recap over this quick introduction, um, there's not much to um, go over with a topographical map, as most of it comes with practice and looking and flying said maps. Um, but what you are looking for with contour lines is, does it come to a point telling you that is the tip of the mountain or the tip of the ridge? Um, or even just a hill. Um, do two points come together in one sector, for instance? If we come here, we can see two hill points here, but they are connected with contour lines out here, which is suggesting a saddle between both the hills. Is it a valley? Is there a river going through it? 
Is there vegetation? Is there a V shape going on that tells me that there's ridges on the other side of this and this is a valley? And of course, just the general layout. In DCS, it's really easy to see the general layout when you step step out a bit and not so zoomed in. Um, you can see that this mountain range here with the colors and the contour lines, there's the one down here, and then of course we have the Kutazi Valley as well as the Tbilisi Valley over here connecting to each other. So that's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, most of this comes with time and looking and understanding what you're generally looking at. Um, I hope you guys learned something new today, and I hope you have happy flights.